Okay, so there is an underrated AI side hustle where people are earning $1,579 per day by posting videos that they generate with Canva. And I am shocked that more people aren't doing it because as I'll show you, people are earning thousands of dollars in their first week of starting it. So here's what they're doing. First, they come to Canva and pick a pre-made trivia video template. Then they come to ChatGPT and get it to generate a trivia quiz for them. And then they post their trivia quiz videos to TikTok and they earn thousands of dollars a week in ads and from affiliate commissions. And these commissions can be earned in most countries around the world. And honestly, I would not have believed this if I had not seen it with my own eyes. So if you're interested in seeing if this is something that you'd like to try, I'm gonna break it down step by step. And we'll start off with step one, earning money fast from TikTok ads. So to show you how to do this, we'll start off by taking a look at this trivia quiz account, Trivia Time HQ. This was the first account that I accidentally stumbled on. And here is an example of the type of video that they post. It is a trivia quiz video that is played on top of B-roll footage. I've muted this video, but if you were to actually listen to it, you'd hear that they're just using a very basic AI generated voiceover to read the questions, which don't worry, I'll show you how to get. And well, here's the thing, right? When I first found this, I got curious. Their videos get tens of thousands to hundreds of thousands to millions of views. So I thought, how old is this account? So I scrolled all the way to the bottom of your videos to find your oldest upload. And to my surprise, it didn't take long because it turns out that this account is only four months old. Yep, when I got to the end and opened up their very first video, I saw that they posted it just four months ago and this video got 89,000 views. But what is even crazier was that when I opened up their second video that they had ever posted, I discovered that they had also posted it on that same day and this video got over three million views. And this is when I realized that I had accidentally stumbled on a very powerful opportunity. Because you think about it, to be able to create a new TikTok account and get 3 million views on your second video must mean that there is a huge demand for these videos. So I went back and looked at the other videos they uploaded in their first week of launching and added up the views. And it was shocking. They got over 22 million views in their first seven days. And here's the thing, right? The amount of money that you can earn from 22 million views on TikTok is a lot. And it's because of TikTok's new advertising monetization platform called the TikTok Beta. This is the new ad program and it's paying out huge ad rates for videos one minute or longer. On average, they're paying out around 50 cents to a dollar for each 1,000 views that you get. This new ad program has significantly increased the amount of money that people are now earning from TikTok. And well, surprise, surprise, Trivia Time HQ has made sure that each of their trivia quizzes are at least one minute long so that they can get ads played for them. So I did the math. I took the views that they got and then divided it by a thousand and then times that by 50 cents on the low end. And it came out to over $11,000, which on average was $1,579 a day. And yes, before somebody goes into the comments and points it out, it is true. To be eligible to monetize your videos on TikTok, you do need to get at least 10,000 followers. So I wondered, Trivia Time HQ had no problems doing that fast. They gained their views and followers fast within a week. Were they the only one? So I started doing more research and couldn't believe the amount of accounts that I have found that quickly gained 10,000 followers plus within couple of weeks of launching. There were too many to share, but I'll share a few. This here is Trivia Cat, and it's just two months old. And in less than two weeks, they got their first viral quiz here, gaining over 600,000 views. And take this account here, which admittedly, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce. It's just three months old. Well, they made this trivia quiz here, which specializes in teaching English. And in the first three days of posting, they had their first viral hit video get over 200,000 views. And take a look here at Quiz Vibe. This TikTok account is just four months old. And well, in just nine days of posting, they had their first viral hit quiz video gaining over 300,000 views. And this here is Brain Burst. It's also just four months old. And their very first video that they posted got over 6.9 million views. So it's honestly pretty amazing. But unfortunately, there is something that I do have to note. 
Currently, the TikTok creativity beta is not open to all countries. Most of my viewers who are based in the USA and UK are fine, but sadly, some, including me here in New Zealand, do get excluded. And so because of that, if you're interested in this, I wanna show you an alternative way that you can make money that is eligible for most people living in countries around the world, and that is with ClickBank. So then, let's now take a look at step two, how to earn money from affiliate commissions. So if you don't know what affiliate marketing is, I will very quickly explain it. You see, I have this video here on TikTok. It teaches how to create stickers using Canva. Well, Canva has an affiliate program, which is otherwise known as a referral program. When you join it, you get a referral URL like mine here. This is also called an affiliate link. When somebody clicks on this and then signs up for Canva, I get a commission. So inside of my TikTok profile, I have a link which takes you to a link tree page, which contains, of course, a button that takes you to my Canva affiliate link. It is a simple yet effective strategy that I use. My affiliate programs I promote combined bring in well over $100,000 a year in commissions. Now, obviously, I choose to use tutorial videos to bring in my niche traffic, but quiz videos are another very effective way that you can do that too. Case in point, take a look at this trivia quiz TikTok account, Real Conversation Series. This account is just two months old and so it's really new and they make quiz videos aimed at a very specific niche viewer, people that are learning how to speak English. And as you can see, their videos are super basic videos. And well, like me, they also have a URL in their TikTok bio, which when you click takes you to a link tree with referral links and affiliate links to English learning courses and eBooks. And here's the thing, right? The reason why I love this form of monetization on TikTok so much is because as I said, it's available for most countries around the world because you can find products to promote with high paying affiliate commissions through this website here, ClickBank. Registration is really quick and it's available in almost all countries. The only country that I know is excluded is Nigeria. When you register, you'll get access to their affiliate marketplace of high commission affiliate offers. And they have thousands of different products in a huge range of different niches. Take the language learning niche as an example. One of their high paying affiliate programs in this niche is Rocket Languages, an online language learning course that, yes, teaches English. Well, they have their referral affiliate links inside of ClickBank, and on average, affiliates are earning over $103 each time they successfully refer a new customer to Rocket Languages. So finding high paying affiliate products within ClickBank to then promote to your TikTok viewers is another very effective strategy for making money with quiz videos. And if you are lucky enough to be eligible for TikTok ads, then there is also nothing stopping you from combining both of these methods to earn money from doing both. So then let's now move on to step three, generating trivia quizzes for free with ChatGPT. If you do have the paid version of ChatGPT, you can use it as well, but honestly, the free version works great for this. So all you've got to do to get started is to come and ask it to create however many quiz questions that you want and pick a topic like say geography that you want it to generate them for. Usually ChatGPT will do what it did here and come up with questions with three or four multi-choice answers for you which can be great on its own, but a prompt that you probably want to know about is the difficulty prompt. Because let's be honest, some of these questions are kind of basic. I do think that most people probably know that Antarctica is the southernmost continent in the world. So if you would like to niche down to target, say, geography nerds, you might wanna make this a little bit more difficult for them. And so instead what you can do is you can ask it to create quiz questions for you and prompt it to say that you only want questions from people that have an intermediary or expert level of knowledge and specify that you don't want basic questions and that is what ChatGPT created for me here. It skipped coming up with basic easy questions and only focused on questions that are a bit more challenging. Such as this question that it generated here. What is the capital city of Australia? Now, in my personal experience, people that don't live in Australasia or are not geography nerds often get this question wrong. Usually, most people answer that the capital is Sydney. I know that I first of all just assumed that it would be Sydney, when in reality, the answer is actually Canberra. 
And another prompt that's very helpful to know is the style prompt. You can ask ChatGPT to generate different styles of quizzes for you, such as this style of quiz, the fill in the blank style. This video fill in the blank quiz here, for example, has had nearly 200,000 views. So instead, I came and asked ChatGPT this time to create 10 quiz questions and clarified that I wanted it to be in the fill in the blank style and specified what niche topic it would be on. And that is exactly what ChatGPT created for me. Once it had finished generating my questions, I then asked it to create multi-choice answers for each of those trivia questions, with one answer being the correct answer, of course. And that is exactly what it did. It gave me three multi-choice answers for each of those questions. And again, this was just using the free version of ChatGPT. All right, so go on ahead, you've created your quiz questions, Let's turn them into a video, which means that it's time for us to move on to step four, create trivia quiz videos with Canva. So let's be honest, if you are a long time subscriber of this channel, you will know I am obsessed with Canva. But if you're new here and don't know what it is, Canva is one of the cheapest and easiest to use design apps available. Using Canva, you can create both pictures and you can create videos. I'll have a link to where you can get a free 30 day trial to the Canva Pro account in the video description below. Please note that is an affiliate link, using it is optional, but it's always appreciated. So thank you if you choose to use it. So once you have created your account, just sign in and then inside of your dashboard, select to create a mobile video. Now there is a feature in Canva that's going to make this much faster. And that is the template feature. So inside of the templates, just search for quiz videos and you'll find that there are a huge range of different pre-built templates that Canva and other users have created that you are allowed to use as a base for your video. So go ahead and choose a template that fits the aesthetic of your niche. But the truth is, is we're gonna go ahead and customize this a lot. So it probably doesn't really matter whichever one that you pick. So I went ahead and just chose this template and I clicked to apply it to both pages. Each section of the quiz gets split into two video pages. One page is the question screen and then the other video page is the answer screen. So to start, I came and modified the title of my question. I changed it to instead say geography quiz. You can change it to whatever title that you like. You can also change the colors, fonts, sizes of text, and you can move the elements around. And then I just switched out my question that ChatGPT had generated for me. To change a text box, just double click on it and now you can edit the text inside of it. So I updated the question and then I went ahead and I changed each of the answers to be an answer that ChatGPT had come up with. Now, one of the reasons why I'm personally obsessed with Canva is because of the fact that it has millions of visual elements such as photos or graphics installed in its library. So we're gonna use these to customize our background. So to do that, first just click on the background picture and then click the delete button. Then come and click on elements and type in what you want your background to be. And then you can just select photos and choose a photo that you like. Then on your canvas, drag and drop it at the corners and make sure that it fills the entire screen. Then with your photo selected, click the position button and then click on layers and drag your photo to be all the way down the layers to the very bottom so that it is behind all of your other visual elements. And now you have your photo as the background. So now we just need to go and apply these customizations to our answer page as well. So start off by dragging your cursor on the title text and elements, grouping them all together, and then select to copy these elements. Then click on the second page on your timeline and then delete each of the title elements on it. Next, come and paste the title elements that you copied before, and they should be copied in the exact same place. You'll then need to click the animate button and select to clear the animations. And then go ahead and change the question to be your question. And then next, what you want to do is you want to switch around the answers so that the correct answer is in the spot that matches the first video page that you made before. So for me, I placed the correct answer in the B option. And so that is where I shifted it to. And I also updated the text on each of the answers to match the same text as the previous video page as well. And of course, we need to change the background to match as well. So come back to the first page and select the background and click to copy it. Then come back to the second page and then paste in the picture and then click position and come to layers and place your image behind the text and quiz elements like you did before. And now they match and check out how cool it looks. 
Our video starts off by having our question pop up on screen along with the answers and then after five seconds the correct answer is then shown to the viewer animated. Now we just need to come in and add in our AI voiceover and as a special treat I'm going to show you how to get the exact same AI voiceover that all of the other viral TikTok accounts are using. So just come and click on apps and then type in AI voiceover. Then click on the app titled voiceover. It is made by autopilot and then select to open the app and then just type in the quiz question into the script and this is important make sure that adam deep male is selected from the speakers now you don't have to select adam obviously and you might not choose to especially if your quiz is aimed directly at women but if you want to use the exact same voice that most of these quiz videos are using this is literally it. Then you just select the style. The one that the most viral TikTok accounts are using is the conversational style. And then just click audio. And once generated, it'll appear on your video timeline. And you can drag and drop it to wherever in the video you want it to be. And something that's very important to note is that when you first install it, you get 400 free characters of video script to use in your videos. But after that, you will need to pay for more characters of script to keep using the voice. For $10, you currently get 1,500 characters for each $1, so in total, you get 15,000 characters. Each video on average usually uses about 500 characters of script, and so for $10, you'll get about 30 videos, which is pretty good. But of course, if you don't want to spend $10 on this, then another option to consider is creating an AI voiceover in an external app like Mix monster they let you generate free voice clips that are 300 characters or less which is perfect for quiz videos you can then just upload these separately into canva it's up to you something else so that you might be interested in though is adding in sound effects such as a bell ding when the answer is shown on screen so to do that just come to the audio app inside of canva and type in the sound effect that you want you can listen to it to see if you like it if you do, click on it and drag it to the part of the video that you want it to play in. And then you just go ahead and copy and paste this process for each of the different questions in your quiz. And to do that, just click to duplicate a question video page and then move and drag it and drop it to be the last page on the timeline. And then come in and customize it by adding in your new question and adding in the answers to that question and adding in a new photo for the background. And then come and duplicate the answers video page from before and move it to be the latest page in the timeline. And then come in and customize that page as well. Add in the same photo that you used to match the question page that you just made. And come and update the questions and answers to match too. And add in your different voiceover and sound effects. And then just do this for each of your questions. And then once you've added them all in, you'll have a fully completed video trivia quiz, which you can now upload to TikTok to start getting views and traffic. Nice. And turning it into a video that you can upload is super easy. Just come and click share and then select download. And then with the MP4 option selected as your file type, click download again. And now once it's finished, you can upload it. So if you'd like to learn even more ways to earn money with Canva, be sure to watch my next video here on screen. I'll see you in the next video.